as the oil prices continue to spiral out of control and consumer goods prices are hitting an all-time high, the converse is true for cryptocurrency. Despite the conventional approach that the cryptocurrency should also increase in value as inflation takes over, the crypto is somehow following the reverse trend. But what is the driving factor behind the strange phenomenon? Why is cryptocurrency gradually losing its value in this economic mayhem? These are the questions we will be answering in this video. While the U.S. inflation rate exceeded analysis estimates last month and reached a multi-decade high, the cryptocurrency hasn't had a nice day in quite some time. In June, the price of Bitcoin fell by close to 40%, tumbling to just under $18,000. In June, the price of Ethereum, the second biggest cryptocurrency, also plunged. It went down by almost 50%, reaching a low of roughly $900 at one time. At this time, it is very much difficult to predict the exact reason why this happening. Brandon Neal, a former Federal Reserve Bank of New York trader, declared crypto a very young asset class making it impossible to predict how inflation will influence it. Many people consider crypto a hedge, a shield they could use to shelter their earnings against the inevitable depreciation. But the recent data shows that this was indeed a very wrong assumption on our part. The investors that put their money into this idea are now close to bankruptcy, and the situation will not improve anytime soon the chances are it may get even worse. To better understand why people put so much trust into cryptocurrency in the first place, let's take a look at an example of gold. If you see the price trends of gold throughout the last decades, you can see that it outshone all of the other commodities at some points. But with the gold too, like all other materials, it isn't always just sunshine and roses. The metal took significant hits throughout history, causing it to crash frequently. It's just that when people say that gold is a very reliable asset, they mostly tend to ignore the bad days. The same is the case with our dear virtual currencies. The largest shift in 28 years occurred in the economy and prices of goods when the central bank raised the benchmark rate by 75 basis points in June. Following increases of 50 basis points in May and 25 basis in March. If the financial institutions or Feds keep moving on this path, it might drive down the price of Bitcoin by strengthening the dollar. Furthermore, the demand for digital money may decline when interest bearing instruments become more desirable than rising interest rates. Brett Siffling, an investment advisor, analyzed the situation and said, the Fed is committed to curbing inflation with aggressive rate hikes, which continues to make lower-risk securities that produce yields more and more attractive. He also went on to further express his interesting views. If we were to observe everything from his perspective, this change in liquidity is significant for risky assets because it fuels the price volatility and characterizes most markets today. Bitcoin is becoming more closely tied to growth and technology stocks, which perform poorly in the current climate. Under these inflationary and limited liquidity conditions, speculative assets like Bitcoin will continue to tighten. But this is not the end. For the times ahead seem even more difficult, experts say that rate increases may be here for a longer and linger for several more months possibly even reaching 100 basis points the next time. As a result, there will probably be a greater negative pressure on Bitcoin and other technological products. Although their recent sell-offs have been significant, there is still more opportunity for a decline. The lowest value predicted that the Bitcoin could reach is $15,000 for now, but it can go even lower if the situation does not improve soon. However, as the recent weeks and crashes have shown, 
investing in cryptocurrencies is still very speculative, especially because many of the most promising ones of today have only been operating since 2016 or later. Risk-off investments will likely perform better right now. Given the rate increases, only the yield-bearing devices will perform well, which does not include the crypto. The dollar may very well keep surging upwards and wreak havoc on everything, including the credit and stock market. But, given that the price of oil and other important commodities is declining, we might still have a chance of recovery. The Fed has room to ease up on its tightening and it will probably do so soon, given the possibility of sluggish growth. When this occurs, everyone will be thinking about the recession. This will be the time when everything would have already hit rock bottom. From that point onward, Bitcoin and all other commodities will begin to show an upward trajectory. But again, all of this is just our speculation, and when the events unfold in the real world, things do not always play out as we anticipate them to. This is particularly true in cryptocurrency, which still baffles even the most experienced investors.